So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're gonna click on the Details tab. Now you wanna find either Battle.net or Steam. So for me, I have Steam on my computer. I'm gonna scroll down until I find Steam.exe. If you're using Battle.net, you wanna find that for yourself. So now you wanna right click on your launcher and then click on End Process Tree. And then click on End Process Tree again. And then once you do that, now you wanna to go to the Process tab. You wanna find Black Ops 6 if you have it open. If you have Black Ops 6 open, you wanna find it. Then you wanna click on it and then click on End Task. And then once you end your launcher and you make sure that you have Black Ops 6 not running, then you wanna head over to your launcher again. So for me, it's gonna be Steam. I'm gonna head over to search again and type in Steam. You wanna to go to your launcher, either Battle.net or Steam. And then once you're on this, you wanna verify the files. So to do it on Steam, you wanna right click on Black Ops 6 and then click on Properties and then click on Installed Files and then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. If you wanna do it on Battle.net, you wanna to go to Battle.net, select Call of Duty and then click on the gear icon, which is Settings next to the Play button. Then you wanna click on scan and repair, and then click on begin scan, and then click on yes. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD, then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, click on enter. And now you wanna type in netsh space winsock space reset, and click on enter again. And then once you do that, now you wanna head over to search and type in network reset, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on reset now, and then click on yes. It's now gonna restart your computer in five minutes, or you can just restart it yourself, and then the problem should be fixed.